yeah, congratulations on the win, first of all. Second successive time Kent have done, have won this, and the fifth time they've won the title since it started in 1889. Um, but you don't really like doing things by big margins, do you? Just uh, uh, two points last year in the <laughs> match, and you played a big part in that. I think you actually scored what turned out to be the winning try. And um, getting through against Hampshire by two points, Cornwall by a point, and then again today by a single point. I think, was that as nerve-wracking for you as the end as it was for me and everybody else? I think you were off the field at the time with cramp, perhaps, but, uh, yeah. How did you see those final minutes? It, it, it was... It's, there's not much you can do. You can only rely on the structure and the understanding of what we're trying to do out there. And, I, and as I said when I came here, like those margins just tell you how competitive county rugby is when everyone buys in those games you know you come here to watch rugby everyone wants to enjoy it this is this is the bit at the end of the season when everyone's played for their clubs to buy in and you saw it in Yorkshire they didn't die when they got their red card they played on and it made it worthwhile and I mean I was I'll be honest I was a bit numb at the end of the game getting up to those final minutes um, and then obviously they got their penalty and you just you just hope we've done enough to sort of hold out but I mean yeah it's 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 crazy what we've been able to achieve but also in Yorkshire for making it such a worthwhile game I mean hopefully everyone got their fill of 80 minutes worth of rugby um, and, and we can keep going on and keep this alive yeah you talk about fine margins and um, inevitably one then thinks of Sam Evans goal kicking today uh, six from seven 16 points and uh, he actually kicked 12 again looking back to last year 12 points in that game was crucial as well um, but uh, it's, uh, he said, but what players stood out for you today uh, I think everybody dug deep but uh, I, I, yeah I think everyone you know what the whole point is 1 to 22 plus the travelling reserves have a part to play you know if there's something you don't have to think about because somebody else is doing their job or you know they're there to help you it just makes that game slightly bit easier um, on the field Sam Evans has to be mentioned he was brilliant I mean you can't really talk about Kent in, in the recent time without talking about Tom Stradwick. I mean, he's an absolute stalwart for us and known across all the counties as an, as an absolute ambassador for, for this level of rugby. Um, but I thought Cam Murray did really well, uh, Barney um, playing 13. But I think, to be honest, it would be a disservice to say everyone didn't have a job to play on that field, 1-15, to 1-22, um, and, and the others to, to make it what it was today. So, um, as I say, two successive successes for Kent uh, but what does this mean for it's always a, there's difficulty getting sides together at the end of the season for a county championship squad but what do you think this means for Kent rugby as a whole uh, winning this today I mean Kent have been strong in recent years um, gone from strength to strength um, and now this but uh, how does this set Kent up I think you know talking talking to Tom and talking to Taff about the history of Kent playing Div 2 bouncing up bouncing down between Div 2 and Div 1 um, you know, we're, we're a massive county with, with loads of great teams and that, and that can be said for a lot of the uh, counties out there. So hopefully it shows that, you know, when you put in a proper plan of how you want your county to look in the future, five, ten years, whatever it is, and you get everyone to buy into it, you see the successes. You know, this isn't, this isn't a county where we've won the last ten years. It's kind of given that we're going to get some great players. But, you know, you buy in throughout the season, you start the conversation early and then towards... The point where you start playing county rugby everyone knows what we're trying to do everyone knows what we're trying to achieve and it's not just about going oh who are the best it's what can we build for the future so bringing in those young boys getting them to buy in so every time we do it successive um, you're able to then rely on what we've had before and build on it so there is a core of the team here um, you know and the boys some of the boys that won last year are in the stands as well and they know what it means and you give that bit of positivity but those new boys that are in the team now know how to do it how to win ugly sometimes you know four points overall for our campaign shows that you know, you've got to dig deep and it's just testament to all the other counties as well. Cornwall took us to the wire, Hampshire took us to the wire, Yorkshire took us to the wire and, and hopefully they can feel rejuvenated by that that next time they give it another go. I mean, obviously I'm hoping that's not the case but it just shows what can be done if everyone does it properly and buys it properly. And are you up for the hat trick next year? It'd be rude not to try, wouldn't it? Um, we're, we're focused on just the second one for now um, but I think back to back to back sounds amazing um, so we're going to hopefully start to build towards it now but just enjoy the rest of the evening of course and uh, yeah you've got two under your belt so congratulations on today um, fantastic game as I say it swayed one way then the other fantastic game so good luck um, for next season and um, and if back here next year if you could do it by more than a score my nerves won't get so frayed <laughs> but, uh, but thank you for no today worries. thank you very thank much for today. and enjoy your evening